Toast's catering and events module makes it easy for you to plan and execute events using the same tools you already use today. In this video, we'll cover how to create an event type using a BEO form, how to create your first catering order, sending estimates to guests that include your contract terms, and sending the order's invoice to your guests to collect payment. Let's begin. Before creating your first catering order, you'll need to configure event types that allow you to customize the information required for a guest to submit a catering order. These will allow you to collect the information you need from your guests or internal teams about a particular event. In Toast Web, navigate to Catering and Events, Catering Settings. Here, you can create multiple event types by creating banquet event order forms. Toast offers some order type templates with pre-configured fields, such as catering pickup orders, catering delivery, or an event. Read the fields included in each template to determine if any of these can be used to get started. You can also create an event type from scratch. Let's start by naming this event type. You can then begin adding the fields for the specific information you'd like to gather about this event type. You can add an existing field from other event types you've created, or you can add a new one. Fields can be used to gather any type of information you need from this order. You can customize how the information is entered, such as text input, a yes or no response, an employee if you need to assign any of your staff to this order, or a time input for an event start time and end time. Select Required if any of these fields will be required to fill out before the order is placed. You can also select Priority if you'd like a field to appear at the top of your BEO in larger text. If you select Internal, the field will not appear on emails sent to your guests. Fields can also be reordered by clicking and dragging this icon on the left of the field. Let's now fill out the rest of these fields with the information we need from our guests. After all fields have been added, you can then add in the contract terms that will be included on all catering orders using this event type. Here, you can include things like your restaurant's cancellation policy. These can also be overwritten for any catering order if you'd like to make changes for a specific order. You can also add any attachments you'd like included in the order email, as well as any of your employees you'd like to be informed when an estimate is approved by a guest. Now that you have an event type created for your orders, let's get started with creating a catering order. For this, navigate to the orders page from the left rail. This page will show you all previously created catering orders and their statuses. We'll go over these statuses later in the video. To start a catering order, select this blue button on the top right of your page. A window will appear prompting you to select the event type you'd like to use for the order. First select the guest for the order. If you haven't already added their information in ToastWeb, Select Create Customer and fill out their info. The event details will list all of the fields that were included in the event type you selected on the previous screen. Let's fill out all of these fields. Below these fields, there's a section to add additional details, such as a dining option and prep time for the order. This is also where you'll add all of the menu items that will be on the order. You can add items that are on any of your menus, regardless of their visibility settings. You can also add any open items if you'd like to include something that is not on any of your menus. If this event is tax exempt, for example if it's for a school, university, or hospital, you can mark that here. You can also add any discounts or service charges you'd like to apply to the order here. Before sending an invoice to a guest, you have the option of sending an estimate, or a quote, 
so your guests can see the order without having to pay for it right away. You can do this by selecting Require Guests to Confirm Estimate. Below this option, you can add in or adjust your contract terms, cancellation policies, or any attachments that are added to the estimate. When you select the blue Review Estimate button on the top right of the page, you'll see a preview of the email your guest will receive. This will include your own restaurant's branding, the order details, and a list of items that will be included in the order. Once you confirm that all of the information in the estimate is correct, select the Send Estimate button on the top right. This will bring you back to the Catering Orders page, where you'll see this order listed with a tentative status. The guest will receive the invoice email within one minute. Once they notify you that they're ready to approve the estimate, you can approve it by selecting the status and then changing it on this page to Confirmed. You're now ready to send the guests their invoice. During this step, you have the option of either sending a deposit on the order and submitting the rest of the payment later in the process, or you can send the full invoice at once. First select the order from this screen, and then select the blue Send Invoice button. In the Payment section, you'll see an option for Requiring a Deposit Payment. When you select this, a window will appear where you can input either a dollar amount or percentage that is due, as well as a due date. After reviewing the deposit that will be sent to the guest, you can select Send Deposit on the top right. If you select the order again, you can view the payment page your guest will see when they're paying for the deposit. If the guest gives you a check or another payment type, you can use the Enter a Payment option to enter it manually on your end. If the guest has paid the deposit, you'll see it tagged as Paid here. Then to send the final invoice for the order, select Review Invoice and then Send Invoice. Once the full amount of the order has been paid, the order will have a paid status on the invoices page. If any invoices haven't been paid on time, they'll have a past due status and will be in the past due tab. For these past due orders, you can send the guest a reminder that they haven't submitted their payment yet. 